Hello, hello everybody. Just getting everything set up. And there we go. Excuse me. Alrighty, so that's all set up and ready. Now let's look at the camera. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So this canvas is expression art and it's a 30 by 60 centimeter so 12 by 24 inches and so i thought i would do a combined technique on this one so i'm going using a string but not in its usual dragging fashion so right, so I'll get that aside now and I'm also going to be using the balloon it's a freshly blown up balloon so I just need to manipulate it a little bit and get some stretch in there okay so we're going to start off with a background, featured lines, and then the balloon feature as well. So, so I'll move that aside for now. And what I want for the background is kind of a really pale, like extremely pale, green. So that is my spring brand white house paint. Hey mum. Um, and I'm going to mix in with that whole lot because we need to cover the whole thing. Um, look, I have press and seal to put on my cups. Ta -da. I was really excited about that. <laughs> um, okay, just put that there. I think what I'd like to use is this pre-mixed green so it's a little bit it didn't turn out to be the color I'd hoped for but I think it will be great for this so I'm just going to start with that because you can always add more if it's not the color you want but you can't really take it away so so while I'm stirring this, I'd just like to say welcome. Throughout this painting, may you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while you're watching. So that has turned out to be pretty much spot on to the pale, pale, pale green. I was hoping for. Let's see. It's very pale, but beautiful. Okay, so on with the background. And fingers crossed this is enough so I might have to be a little bit pedantic on this one. And start with the stick. Spreading it around, making sure that I'd love the sides covered as well but if I don't have enough I'm okay with that and I will paint them after the fact. So, let's 
see. Okay, so now that that's covered, I don't want to have it sitting there with lines through it. So I'll still give it a tilt and then see what flows over the edges and I can run my fingers around there. So, here's a little bit left in there. Adding that in. Give it a tilt. Just a bit of movement, rocking back and forth first. You can see the waves of the paint as it moves. leveling out okay almost down to the end again let that roll over and down we don't want a lot of paint on the background surface so that's looking pretty good from here So that's where we'll leave it and get on with the next step. So. I think we have some sleepy heads today. That's okay. That's alright. So there's a lot of bubbles in here, so I'm going to run the torch over it. So this is a kitchen torch that's refillable with gas. I've got my wet cloth here to wipe my hands and wipe off the balloon later. So now I'd like to go with uh, Hooker's Green Dark and I forgot to put that in the image so I momentarily forgot about that. That's fine. Got a bug trying to swim in my background already. There we go. So I'm going to shake this up and oh. <clears throat> No, I can't get this lid off. 
Oh, there we go. So just enough on the bottom. I'm going to coat the string a few times. So when I initially cut my string, this is eight ply acrylic wool to go the length I wanted it to go and with room for me to hold it. So pop that in there now, so dip it in the paint, like a string dip. Give that a moment to soak in a little bit. And say, so, all right. So I hope everybody's got nice plans for their day. And well, that they've had a fantastic day already. It's always wonderful to hear that it's been a great day had out there. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the string. Just sit my finger right beside it, dragging it on the edge of the cup and my finger. And this one's going to be really long because it's more than 60 centimetres. Oh, that really tested how much I can stretch. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to use string, but I'm not going to use it in the usual sense. So it doesn't look like that one wanted to stay. It's not staying. Maybe there's still too much on the background. Right. Back into the cup. I just squeezed it off between my fingers. So now I pop it back into the cup. Give it a swirl around so then it's back under the paint again. this a bit of a tilt. Try and reduce some of that paint that's on there. It's not moving very fast so there's not a lot of paint on there so that's surprising. It's very slow moving though. I can see it building up down here. And a slight trace of the green that it did leave behind. Okay. I know we did manage to get just a little bit extra off, but not a great deal. So just keep going and cross our fingers now, I guess. Alright, so let's pull that out again. A big stretch. Oh. There we go, it's starting to leave a little bit more of a line, but not 
the biggest. I'll just scrape that off again. I'm actually wondering about trying something different because at the moment this doesn't seem to be working. So I guess what you do now is assess that and see about making a change. So put my paint back part of my string back in there, drag it up along the side and this time we just draw the line. back in, pull it back out, draw the line. Pull the string and not lift her. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm doing now, so looks like it's a winner winner. I do always want to start from the bottom though and well not the bottom but off one edge and down to the other edge the opposite edge i'm just getting some more color on there now get some more lines going Perfect example of how not all things go as planned, but that's when you have a look at it and go, well, what will I try instead? And then you get green lines that work. <laughs> Bonus. All right. A few more of these lines and then we'll move on to the balloon. I went off the side there accidentally. Never mind. Alright. Well, I think we're good for string with that. I think that is a nice background. So, all right, I'm just going to move a little bit of things out of the way, like the paper towel, the puddle with the string that I created, before we move on to the balloon, just because we've got different colours, I don't want accidental mishaps, 
with that. So, there we go. So with the balloon, what we're using is Scarlet Lake. Oh look, even my balloon's got a bit of greenery on it. So, uh, so Scarlet Lake for a lighter shade of red. Let's see. And this is the crimson. So, for that slightly darker shade of red. And a drop of gold in the middle. And that will push out with it. So, alright. Let's see how this goes. I don't want to push out too far because then the white will take over. <laughs> Just like that. So now we'll be working out the best amount of paint for the size I want to create. So a little extra on there this time. We'll push it out. There we go. This is nice and round. I need enough red paint on there so that when I squash it, I'm not actually reaching the white paint. So that's going to be the test. A bigger puddle. With a mixture of the reds. And do my best to stay within the red. There we go. That's a lot better. And that one's fine now. I'm much happier with that. So my green string lines, they're representing the stalks, the grass, and the red Balloon medallions are representing poppies. So that's why I've chosen these particular colours, these styles. So let's see again. just wiping off the balloon in between although it's pretty as much as possible anyway all right coming down here tomorrow is Anzac Day here in Australia so the 25th of April So that's why I thought it would be nice. It's been a couple of years since I've done a painting representing Anzac Day. So there we go. Let's try and get some more poppies. And I have been forgetting the dash of gold, so pop that in there. Just stay where the red. Very cool. 
Okay, so I have to be careful of the other side, but even still, flowers in a field, blowing in the wind, beautiful. Where's the gold you put in the first one? Oh, it's buried in there. <laughs> um, yeah. Underneath all the paint. buried in here too so if we don't see it come out in this one I'm not going to add it any further the red lovely just lovely So although this is, yeah, I don't really see the gold in there, so I'm not going to continue to add it in. Um, so this is a painting that's quite repetitive. So as you saw with the string, repeating the same process over and over to get that effect and now with the balloon we're doing the same thing so there we go hello Lorraine how are you going good morning Doris do you have a big day planned So I'm using, for those who have just come in, I've used string, my 8-ply acrylic wool, acrylic wool that I normally use for string deck techniques to create the lines on the background. And now I'm using the balloon with these two different shades of red to create poppies as flowers. Sure, Doris. Yep, I can give you a call. Not a problem. So just now adding, having a look, that's a bit out of shape, through the camera at where more poppies could be added and just looking at that now. So that's what we're working on now. Oh, beautiful. So I'm really pleased with how most of these are turning out. So that is great. Try a small one, not pushing down very hard.
try and see about using the crimson first. No, I pushed too hard on that one. So ideally, the small ones, not so much. Oh, there we go. So I'll just add some bigger ones. And then we'll come down for a close-up. And call that a beautiful representative of Anzac Day painting. Very nice. Let's see. I thought I might be able to transfer some of the paint on the balloon into this area to make it a little bit more rounded, but it didn't turn out that way, so that's fine. That's the crimson going down first again. Well, totally swallowed up that one, but that's okay. My pale orange cloth is crimson red. Okay, so I think we might just leave it there, although I just had a thought of making this the bottom and putting in a couple of more of these little ones that potentially haven't quite bloomed yet to their full capacity. So I'm going to go really little with these. I think I need a new red bottle. This one leaks funny. It doesn't leak, it drips funny. Okay, one more. There we go. New. Okay. Well, there we have it. We'll put some black. I know I put the black out before and nobody's seen it as yet. So this is for the center. Very careful not to drip this in between.
So there we go, after we do this we'll bring you down, have a close up and then we'll sign off for the night. <laughs> On you mate, good job. Totally. I'm loving it. You're such a great touch with that balloon. Oh, thanks, Doris. I just... There was something I thought of earlier, which this is a great tip for those who might consider it themselves. Uh, I was going to... This would have been better if I'd have done the background earlier, let it dry, and then come in and did the poppies. Um... So just something for others to think about if they're going to do the same thing. And yeah, this one section is really bugging me. So I'm going to have at it one more time. See if we can push that out using the crimson first so that hopefully the differentiation between the colours will be what? blocks them out from each other in that area. Just a little push. Oh, I think I still brought wine in. That's okay. I think I'm pretty happy that it did almost what I thought. Alrighty. There we have it. So it's almost like this is where they're coming up and this is what they become. Either way. <laughs> I, lo I love it. I'm happy with it. So. A couple of little features. Oh, I can do two in one hand. See if you do hear that one, it actually scraped the bottom of the canvas. Right, so this one is the last one, and there we go. My cloth is squelching. <laughs> it is so full of paint. So, lest we forget, absolutely. All right, so let's have a close up and then we'll sign off. I'm down with this hand. 
and all right don't know if you're able to take that very faint green background very very light green the green lines and the poppies So there we go, that's beautiful. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And ring that bell to receive all notifications of my videos. Um, if you've enjoyed this uh, representation, of poppies for Anzac Day please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below as well I'd love that so thank you so so much everybody I really appreciate you being here gorgeous thank you Doris um, yeah and I just want to say take care out there you know it's really important that we look after ourselves and I'll see you then. Be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.